I forgot to record that portion, but right here, wherever the hole is in the wall, you have to cut it out a lot bigger with the drywall saw. Because you want to make sure that it's, a so it's solid here. Like here, there's still a little bit of damage, but that's okay there. That's just a little bit, but you don't want to really want to have any of this here. Or it's just the paper, you want to have a solid piece of drywall to work with. Mark 4 and 5 eighths. Enjoy your line. There's your piece. You gotta cut this off. Get your utility knife and score it. you scored it enough, lightly tap it. The paper never uh, cuts. She can't get deep enough with the knife to cut the paper. Come behind it like this and kind of guess where you're cutting it. I'm about to fine tune, fine trim it because it's not really, it never fits perfectly. Look at that, it's like a perfect fit. That usually doesn't happen. Look at that, that's nice. Now what you gotta do is get a piece of wood. This is a little thick, but it doesn't matter. You can use a thin piece of plywood. And it doesn't matter what kind of wood you use, but you gotta put this wood inside here. It's just stick it in there. And all you can see are all screws, and you gotta screw them into the wood on the top and bottom. You're gonna have to hold it. And when you screw it in, you want to screw the drywall screw slightly into the drywall. So once it hits the drywall, go really slow with the drill. So like that, you want to sink it in there, so that way you can put some spackle over it to hide the screw. So it'll be almost unnoticeable that this was repaired. This hole here is from the doorknob. Because the, uh, the door stopper is broken. You get another screw, do the same thing on the bottom. Right here. Went a little too far with that one. It's okay, we're gonna put two on each side. Just like that, see how they're sunken? 
I'm gonna change the angle. Hopefully you can see me kind of sink this uh, final screw here. See so when you get it right there, you want to go slow, short burst on the drill. See now it's kind of sunk, so I can put spackle over it, sand it down. I'm also going to repaint this house, and then it's nice and solid now. This will actually make it a little harder for the doorknob to break through again. But I'm going to put a new door stopper too at some point. We'll take our perfectly fitting piece again, put it in there. Look at that, nice. Then it's simply going to put two more screws to hold it in. And it's easy to know where the wood is. You just look at these screws and stay centered with those. I can actually see the wood in there a little bit. Do the same thing, you want to countersink it into the drywall. So you can hide the screw head. Put in the final screw. You don't want to put it too low down there because it'll be weak. You want to kind of keep it more to the center. Beautiful. Here's what it looks like finished. There are some little imperfections here, but it's good enough. What you're gonna do is, after you put the first coat of spackling on there, you're gonna sand it down, see how it looks. It usually needs more, so then you just put another layer of spackling over it. You wanna spread it all over, way past where the piece of drywall is. When you're happy with how it looks, then you want to put a coat of paint over it because this is flat, doesn't have any paint on it. Especially now, since I'm painting this whole room, if I was just to paint one coat over this, you would be able to easily see where the patch was made. So that's why you want to put this coat first. If you just touch up painting an area, then it's hard to do that because even if you take a sample of the color and get it matched, it's never 100%. So the only way that you could get it to come out good by touching up is if you still have leftovers of that same batch of paint that was used on the wall. Then you could touch it up and you wouldn't be able to tell it would match perfectly. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment.